philosophy behind Samu as a person, for real, for real, is refuse to lose, bread to win. You know, I refuse to lose, and I'm bread to win. What's up, y'all? My name is Semu. My full name is Semu Sebagala Walusimi. And Semu Samu basically comes from it's the third generation. I'm the third generation of that name. Yeah, so I got here, and you know, cats didn't really know how to pronounce my name. You know, some cats were saying Semu Samu, and everybody just was starting to call me Sim Simu. You know what I mean? Like that Beanie Man record, you know what I mean? Everybody was like, yo, Sim Simu, you know what I mean? So that kind of stuck with me, and everybody just rocked out. They call me that or someone. that I saw, I wasn't asleep, I wasn't awake. Hell responsible for their mistakes. Hell the fire, don't hold your tongue. I've almost forgot just where I was from. When I got to New York, I was just rocking with my brothers. You know, I'm the youngest of five. And you know, they all gave me a little bit of music in their own genre that they liked, you know what I mean? My brother Suzzy put me on the hip hop. My father put me on the country music. You know, my mom was really into like the dance music, the 80s dance scene, and some reggae. And so, you know, I was at an early age, before I even knew that I loved music, I was around and it was breeding. Growing up, it really affected how I perceive the world and how I create my music. For the next 10 years, I was just like rocking, just sharpening my craft with like how to how to convey what I feel into words and into rhythms and harmonies. My biggest influences for music would have to be people like Michael Jackson, Bob Marley, and Marvin Gaye. Those characters just happen to speak to society and transform society with their music. If you hear you know, any one of my songs, there's gems in all of them that are saying something that is relating to the times that are going on. Sometimes being lonely, which I sometimes talk about, you know, and love and all these emotions that, you know, people struggle with and sometimes rejoice with every day, you know. What it do, Samu? Okay. I started dancing in the third grade, get together and then do a little simple dance, you know what I mean? It gave me money for dancing. It gave you an attitude. You know, dancing is an attitude that adds to the music. Ever since then, it's just been a part of me showcasing my music in any one of my performances, live performances. It's definitely crucial that I give you how I, I can feel you, you know, how I feel the music. East of the border. Trips. All people gon' go come on. All people gon' go come on. The trips is my entertainment label and clothing line. The whole meaning behind the trips represents a lifestyle, you know, a lifestyle of traveling and setting goals and reaching destinations. Uh, old heads used to tell me was when you see the world, when you see all of the world, you have a better understanding of who you are in the world. And that's what the entertainment day is about. It's about life. It's about taking your life somewhere. Go somewhere with your life. All people gon' go come on. Now all people gon' Whenever I heard music, it was just this door that I could open and just like leave this world, you know? And let me know like, you know, I wanted to do more than just write 16s, you know? I wanna capture emotions and feelings that people around the world can feel, you know? That's what I wanna convey and, and bring back and bring forward is these real emotions, you know, these real feelings that are uh, really like felt when you hear the record. And that's what I want my music to most do. I want it to be people understanding that, yo, this guy made this song for the world to be better. Samu, yeah, he, he's, the, you know, he's the, he's the African Dandada, but you know, he's really a humanitarian and he really cares about the world. 
I'm gonna take it like where people don't expect me to take it. I'm gonna continue to take it farther than they expect to take it. So it's refuse to lose, bread to win. That's what Sam is about. That's what Sim Sim is about. And that's what I want the main message to be left that this guy didn't give up. This guy kept going. You know, he didn't have everything that the next person had to, to get on, but he didn't give up. He just he believed in himself and the God-given talents that was given to him to, to go farther than people expected. Take it all home.